Jobs for Arizona's graduates gives us an opportunity to help young people who've been told all their life that this is not the, the, the career path for you, this isn't the, the work for you, this isn't the class for you, you shouldn't belong to that club. And when we intervene with these young people, we let them know that if they're serious about making a change in their life and in their, their academics, JAG is a program for them. So what we do is we instill that academics come first, we refocus them, make sure that they are on track to graduate, and then we help them identify their strengths, their passions, and their skill sets, and present them the opportunity to research their career pathways. We never ask the young people, what do you want to do when you grow up? We ask them, how do you want to be remembered? How do you want to contribute to your community? What is it that we can help you to make that passion, that dream come true? So we help them identify their purpose. My experience in school was not that great. I was one that had very little resources, so I did not uh, enter the university prepared and ready for that academic rigor. So when I graduated, I wanted to make sure that anyone I came across, whether it was my sisters, my community, family, that I was gonna help them be prepared because I didn't want them to suffer like I did for four years at that university. And I wanted them to know that there was somebody there that was gonna help them in that journey. An influence of mine would be my grandparents and my parents because they taught us the importance of family and community. It's one and the same. There isn't any difference. You treat everybody the same. If they need help, we're gonna be there to help them. I'm teaching my young grandchildren to be philanthropists. We started a scholarship fund, and I want my family to help select these recipients. What we also do is we, we contribute to many charities in the community. And our, it, I gather up my grandkids, and they sit around the table, and they look at pamphlets. We read the material together, and then they select how much money we're going to give to each one of these charities. So that's how I contribute back to the community. But at every March of Dimes, every food drive, every clothing drive, my family is there. We come from a family of service. The mission of the YWC means to me, it's inspiring young people to, to be aware, to know uh, their resources, to have voice, to be invited, to be part of something, to change what's not uh, equitable and to make it a better place for all of us to live in. I will be retiring June 30th of this year and I'm excited because I know that the organization is going to continue. We have a very committed board of directors and we have a very committed and very talented program staff. I'm going to be enjoying my retirement because I get to continue to work in the community that I help develop. I'm going to be in the trenches, uh, building gardens, uh, giving out funding, doing those fun things, but I don't have to be on a time clock anymore. It's on my own time and my, and my family's time. I am equal, I am powerful, I am unstoppable.